Hi people, welcome to my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, my TikTok. This is Sichamba Jacob. So before I solve this question for you, I would like to ask you to please share the video. If you are watching this video on my YouTube channel for the first time, please remember to subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, I say thank you. Thank you so much. All right, All right. so to solve this question, there is something that is very important that we must put into consideration. And uh, this is uh, understanding the rule we are supposed to use. Remember, under trig, when it comes to identifying the rule to use, there are basically two rules. There is sine rule and cosine rule. Now, how are we going to identify or how? What are some of the things that will tell us that here we are supposed to use cosine rule. There is only one point. Uh, cosine rule says that you can use it if you've got an included angle or if you've got all the three sides. So in this case, we don't have the three sides, but we've got an included angle. And what do we mean when we say included angle? It means you've got a side and the side, those sides are forming the angles, the angle, so to say. So we've been given this angle, and we've got the side here, the other side is over right here. If we had the side here, not here, we couldn't have used the uh, cosine rule. So only one point is making us use the cosine rule. Let's uh, write the formula. So I encourage people to be sticking to this formula. Don't change it. The way it looks, A power 2 is equal to B power 2 plus C power 2 minus 2 A, I mean B, this is B, 2 B C, and then you say cos capital letter A. This is the formula I encourage people to stick to. So now, you can see the diagram has got P, Q, R. But if we check on the formula, they are no, these letters are not appearing. They are not there. So what are we going to do? You check the letter which is here. This is capital letter A. And look at an angle. The included angle is right here. Make it A. So this is our A. So if this is our A, any angle here can be our B. If you want, you can make your B to B this, this one. If this is your B, then this is your C. Okay? It doesn't matter. It's not part of the solution. This is not part of the solution. But just to guide you, answer this question or use the formula. So if I put my capital letter A here, my small letter A will be the opposite side. My small letter C will be the opposite side. So this is an angle. Remember, capital letters, they represent angles. So this is my angle. The side which is opposite to this angle is my C. While B, capital letter B, the side is right here, small letter B. So we are now good to go. We can now solve. We shall say A power 2 is equal to. We are solving for A. Remember the question here. They have said we find what? Though I did not show you the question, but they are saying calculate the distance R Q to two decimal places. So if you check on your diagram, R Q is right here. This is our A. So we maintain A power 2. For the B, we know that B is a side. It's 7.1 power 2. We say plus our C 23.8 power 2 minus Two seven point one two three point eight, and then we say cos the angle here. So what is our angle? It's a ninety-two point seven degrees. So we say cos ninety-two point seven degrees. So how do we get to know that this is an angle? Remember, the capital letters they present. Eh? Or capital letters do represent what? Represent uh, angles. Okay. 
So now, we can now punch on our calculator. What is our 7 squared? So we maintain our a squared, and then we say 7 squared. 7 squared, of course, it's a 50.141, uh, then plus 23.8 squared. This will give us a 566.44. Then we say minus, we multiply 2 times uh, 7.1 times 23.8. This will give us a 337.96. We say times cos 92.7 degrees. That's our angle. Okay. So once we do that, we can now work out everything. We punch everything right here. So we know that we've got uh, 50.141. I mean 50.41. And then we say plus uh, five, uh, 566 Just In short, we just add everything. So when we add everything there, or we simplify everything, you punch on your calculator everything. So I'm punching right here. I'm getting... A, I'm, get, I'm getting on my calculator here, I'm getting a 632. So if, you're, if your calculator is in, uh, is in degrees, you must be getting a 632.770961. This is what you must get. So now to solve for A, you shall say A is equal to, you now find the square root right here. So this power 2 and the root will go you remain with the A. So what is the square root now there? So when you find the square root, you are getting a 25, 25.15 kilometers. Remember, they have said we must give our answer in what? In two decimal places. So we've got one, two. So this is uh, our answer. So the next question here, they want us to find uh, the area. So for area, people, you need to know that area, regardless of uh, the, the rule you are using, you must know that area is 1 over 2. This is the formula, B, C, sine, A. I know most people ask me questions like, okay, but this is cosine rule. Why do we have sine here? Please. Remember that when you're dealing with, when finding area, the formula always have a sign, uh, sign right here. Not cosine, but sign. So now, um, and the angle which is here must be an included angle. You can see this angle. So you get, just get whichever angle that you get. If you get this angle, then get the two sides. If you get the angle which is here, you get the two sides. If you get the angle which is here, you get the two sides. So I'll get the angle which is here. So meaning I'll say, okay, my 1 over 2, I'll write it times A. The sides of this angle are, we've got uh, 7.1 times 23.8. And then we say times sine 92.7 degrees. So now you punch on your calculator. When you nicely punch on your calculator everything, your answer will be 168.79244111. And then you say divide by 2. When you divide by 2, our answer here will be 84.4 kilometers squared. Or kilometer squared or kilometer squared so this is our question two for question three they're saying we find the shortest distance for the shortest distance you use this formula there are two formulas it's the same formula but you can use it in two ways 
I know you know this formula for finding area of a right angled triangle. You can either go with this or go with this. H is equal to 2A over a B. So I will encourage you to be going with this one. It's the same. This and this are the same. We've just made H subject of the formula. So if you want, go with this. It's okay. So we are looking for H. We shall maintain a 2. For A, it's the area which we've just found. This area. For B, will be the side which has been mentioned here. They said RQ. So what is our RQ? Look at the diagram. Our RQ is A. This is what we are calculating. It's 25.15. And here actually we are supposed to indicate that this is our RQ, which is 25.15 kilometers. So for our B there, as usual, we put 25.15. 25.15. So we just solve this one. When we work out on top there, it's a uh, 2 times uh, 84.4. This of course is giving us 168.8. We divide by 25.15. This of course is giving us a uh, is uh, giving us uh, a 6. So it's 6.71 kilometers. This is the shortest distance. So when we talk about the shortest distance, we're just simply talking about this distance. Like if you're at this point, because they said P, and then going to this, this right here. That's the shortest distance. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sichamba Jacob. If you really need more help, Remember that we offer online tuitions in different subjects, mathematics, English, RE, science, biology, commerce, civic education, and many more. So if you so wish to be learning with JS Learning Academy, the number that you can contact us is uh, right here. We'll be able to advise on what you need to do. So WhatsApp or call this number.